Hi guys, my name's Rachel Rolston and welcome back to my channel, The Painted Zebra. Today is the start of another weekly vlog. Today is Monday. Tonight I'm going to um, the girls' class finale, so my um, Bible study, the final one for the year. Well, I'm hoping to go anyway. I've been having um, a lot of trouble with my gastroparesis, so I'm not eating today in the hope that hopefully I'll be able to go. Um, so it's about... 1.50 almost 2 o'clock and I've just been sitting here editing I'm editing a Christmas makeup look which will go up later in the month so I've just been sitting doing that other than that I am just resting ready for tonight I'm hoping to get this video uploaded and then have a bit of a sleep vlogmas has been hard but I've really enjoyed doing it so um, I think I definitely will do it again next year so I am just taking a little bit of a rest while this up uploads and then I will probably have a lay down and I will talk to you later when I'm getting ready for girls class. So I just got a couple of deliveries in the mail that I want to show you so I'm going to do that now. The first is these Faith Planner stickers um, by... I don't even know who they're by, but I ended up buying them on Amazon, so I'm going to open them and show them to you, but I will try and link all this stuff down below. So I thought it was a little booklet that was like joined together, but it's actually all separate. So that's the first page, the second page, sorry I'm shaking so bad today, I feel really unwell, third page. Fourth page, fifth page, then the sixth page. I'm going to stop saying what number page it is now. And then that's just the back page. Then from Redbubble, I got these pen, like a sticker. It's of my favourite pens. And then a Bible verse, Abide in Me. Um, it's my verse of the year, so I got that sticker. I ordered this from the Closet Planner Addict. I'll link her down below. But they're all pop out little stickers so I'm going to use them every month for the 2020 and then they've also that also pops out and I got a um, couple of freebies and and then I also got a little um, free code which I'm not going to share with you because I think I'm going to use it and I don't think she would appreciate me sending out codes to everyone so I also got that which was really cute it's all of, here is all of her information if you're interested she has an Etsy store hey guys so it's now Wednesday I've been in a fairly bad gastroparesis flare and now I'm having trouble keeping my tablets down. I've thrown up this morning's tablets. Last night stayed down, yesterday morning's didn't. Like, they're just, all my, t I'm very hit and miss with my tablets right now. And my speech therapist has recommended that if I wasn't any better today, I head in um, and I'm no better today. So once my support worker gets here I think I'll be going in. I was meant to have an appointment with my knee surgeon just to check up on how everything's going but I think I'm going to have to cancel it because I don't think I could cope sitting in the car and going up to that big hospital today and um, getting through my appointment and everything so I think I'm just going to have to cancel it and head into emergency at my home hospital instead so I'm going to um, just lay here until she gets here 
I've got my sick bucket nearby and um, yeah I'm just sort of trying to take it easy and hoping that um, this is a quick visit um, but that they get everything sorted so yeah I'll chat to you all a bit later hey guys so it's now Sunday I'm just gonna do my makeup um, while I give you an update because I really need to get it done um, basically the last time you would have seen me was Wednesday morning before I went to the emergency room um, they gave me fluids and admitted me and then from there I had my gastric pacemaker turned up um, and they did a abdo x-ray to make sure that my tube was in the right spot which thankfully it was and to make sure there was no um, obstructions because I'm very prone to them um, and thankfully there wasn't so this is just the gastroparesis flare like I thought but the reason I went in was because I was not keeping any of my medications down now the next option I have is either liquid meds which may not work with me um because they would go down the tube and the tube is still making me sick um or basically a line here and get the meds through there um but i feel like we're not there yet because i'm not like that all the time i'm just like that when i have a flare so i talked to the doctors and we basically decided that i would come home now that I can stomach medications, now the gastric pacemaker's been turned up a bit. Um, and just play it day by day. I have my tube change on Thursday of next week. Um, and I could ask for the pacer to be turned up again then. Um, the worry is you can only turn it up so far and then you've got no options, which kind of scares me um so i am going to just play it day by day take my meds um if i can take any food in i will and try and get my tube feeds down um which is still a struggle but it's less of a struggle than it was um when i went in so that is sort of the update this week's vlog is going to be very short but I still want to put it up sort of like an update um so sorry that the vlog is so short um but there wasn't really much I could do about it you know I love YouTube but my number one priority has to be my health and that's why I didn't vlog in hospital I know some vloggers can vlog in hospital um I'm just not one of them I don't deal very well I sort of like to be in a dark place with my eyes closed just breathing through the pain um, and also the worst thing was because I had ha had no medications including my pain medication I was in awful pain so um, and a lot of vloggers have someone else that knows how to operate the camera and vlog for them um, mum could but i don't like to put that on her um because her number one priority is me and when i was in hospital she was like wetting my flannel because i was so hot and i don't know if that was actually because the hospital was hot or because my pain was so bad that you know i don't know and also i hadn't had my um dysautonomia medication so my body couldn't regulate temperature so when I got hot, I got boiling hot. So mum was doing that. She also still has all of her responsibilities at home. Um, so yeah, I just don't like to put that on her. Um, so that's why there isn't much footage, well any footage from the hospital. Um, I wanted to quickly give you an update before I left to go to the ED. Because I was just waiting for my support worker to get here. So I didn't delay going to the hospital to vlog. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update. And that's what I did. And then 
all my focus shifted to my health which if any of you have a chronic illness you'll understand that sometimes it's really hard to control your health and to look after yourself so that was what I had to do so thank you for watching um, I have a friends going away party today so I probably won't vlog because I don't think they're comfortable being on camera and there's a lot of little kids running around and I don't want to film them obviously um, so I will just talk to you in next week's vlog and tomorrow for the vlogmas video so um, it's been really hard keeping up vlogmas while I've been sick luckily I had pre-recorded pre-edited stuff that was already up so it all went up by itself I didn't have to do anything which really helped um, and then yeah I just have to edit this video and um, this will go up and then I've got more pre-recorded stuff so I can still look after myself that was what I really wanted to do this vlogmas was do a lot of pre-recorded stuff so that I could continue to look after my health because it's not in a very good place at the moment so that's what I did um, I hope you've been enjoying vlogmas please leave comments down below about anything um, and I will see you next time here on the painted zebra have a good week bye